Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this channel called The Supreme Concept and today is our sixth class on uh, common error previous year questions and these questions were taken from the book Kiran's previous year collections and we have already covered uh, up to 75 number of questions in our previous classes. If you have missed those classes, you can check them out through the playlist named uh, Common Errors from Kiran's Chapter Wise. So let us begin. Question number 76. It says, the Prime Minister was asked to write a foreword to the book. So find out where exactly the error lies. Just uh, give it a pause and mark your answer. Yes, you are right. Error lies in part number 2. See, here we will use forward. Instead of forward. Okay. Because forward means uh, it is a, a short introduction at the beginning of any kind of book which is written by other than the author. Okay. It is a... Uh, Short big pardon this is O R T. Yeah, it is a short introduction. Introduction at the beginning. of a book written by by other than the author okay so error lies in part number two question number 77 i must compliment you on your good manners and your impeccable behavior so find out where the error lies in this question. Yes. Yeah. Option number one. Your error lies in option number one. She instead of compliment, we will use compliment. C O M P L I M E N T. Compliment. This one. Okay. Because here compliment. This compliment means uh, it is actually verb. Okay, and it means uh, to express to express admiration to express admiration or to congratulate. Okay, compliment to admire somebody, and this compliment shum p l e m e n t. It means uh, to add. To add to uh, or to make complete. Okay, it means to make complete. This is the complement. Show M P L E M E N T. But in this case, we will use uh, complement. Show M P L I M E N T. Okay, because we are. Uh, you know, uh, admiring somebody. You no, know, we are admiring uh, someone's uh, impeccable behavior. See, here, impeccable means uh, perfect behavior. Perfect, without any faults or flaws. Okay. The sweets were set between the four girls. Find out where the error lies in this question. Okay. Yeah. Error lies in uh, part number three. See, we will use among here. Okay, among, not between. Between is usually used between uh, two persons or things. But among is used to express a relationship more than more than two. Okay, more than two is between. For two, we use. Sorry, more than two is among and for two we are using between. Okay, keep this in mind. So let us move. Question number 79. The long distance train which met with an accident 
while scaring some army personnel. So find out where the error lies in this question. Give it a pause and mark your answer. Yes, error lies in part number three. See, uh, here we will use personal. That is P E R S O N N E L. Okay, personal. One second. Yeah. So personal means you know used for people employed or especially active in an organization or business. employed in an organization we often uh, see this in news that is army personnel okay so like that personnel and here personnel this one is p e r s o n a l personnel and personnel this one personnel n a l this actually uh, stands for you know a particular person is related to to a particular person okay uh, we can say uh, let's say an example uh, this is my personal opinion that uh, you should remember all these rules okay so this is personal ERSO and L personal okay. personal and personal the young man from Japan found the ascent of the mountain hard going so find out where the error lies in this question okay you're right error lies in part number two ascent instead of ascent we will use ascent here this one a s C E N T, okay, ascent. It means uh, you know an uh, upward slope. Upward slope, or you know going upward, something the process of going upward. Okay, and here ascent. This one represents. Uh, to express to express agreement or acceptance okay approval okay so ascent ascent both are nouns actually but here we will use ascent a s in t okay which is uh, an upward slope or upward movement question number 81 if the oast comes to oast i will have to bid goodbye to my studies and join my family business so find out where the error lies in this question yes take your time yeah error lies in part number two she the will be used before oast okay if the host comes to the host okay i will have to bid goodbye to my studies and join my family business because host is the superlative degree of a bad bad or host okay so actually the comes before any superlative degree so we will use the the interim report does not analyze thoroughly the principal causes of the disaster so find out where the error lies in this question yes she here error lies in part number two instead of principal uh, we will use principal p r i n c i p a l principal principal means uh, the chief or important thing or a main thing or which is important thing and 
and uh, principle principle means you know morals moral conducts and see principle that is which is the main or important thing so interim report uh, does not analyze thoroughly the principle that is the main causes of the disaster okay so option number two is correct here question number 83 the items are liked most were the rosewood carvings and the, the teak wood furnitures of Dutch design so find out where the error lies yes this is a simple one actually error lies in part number three here we cannot use the plural form of furnitures furniture okay actually furniture is a uncountable noun uncountable okay uncountable noun so let's see it would be better to write like this uncountable noun okay so furniture is uncountable noun f u r n i t u r e furniture is uncountable noun so we cannot uh, use its plural form okay it doesn't have any plural form so it will be used as it is like furniture this has only singular form of it so we will use furniture here question number 84 a part of the training the offer was real good so find out where the error lies in this question yes you're right error lies in part number three instead of real we will use really really good okay see actually we will use adverb here really is an adverb okay uh, because it means uh, it actually used for emphasizing an adjective okay. and uh, it really is the most appropriate use here so let us read it uh, the sentence with really a part of the training once again yes a part of the training uh, the effort was really good now this uh, sentence sounds excellent okay isn't it yes so let us move the soil was moist as there was little rain the day before so find out where exactly the error lies in this question currently we are discussing question number 85 yes error lies in part number two that is in option two she here we will use uh, a little instead of little a little a little means uh, something you know something less in amount something less okay but only little source almost nothing okay almost nothing or no so we will use a little here okay negative word but uh, it is a negative word but not purely negative word okay a little means it has something uh, the soil was uh, moist there was a little water sorry there was a little rain the day before so it would be our correct answer here the manager wanted to know who had arrived early that day the cashier or the accountant now find out your answer here yes error lies in part number two instead of early we will use um, its comparative form that is earlier so e a r l i e r earlier would be our answer okay so it is uh, the comparative degree okay we are um, trying to compare this in this question there is a who came before the earlier or the cashier sorry the cashier or the accountant okay so earlier would be our correct answer in this case we will not use early they are politically important family one of his sisters is a minister and the other is married with a minister so find out what's the correct answer in this question where the error lies okay yeah error lies in part number three married to instead of married with we will use married to okay uh, we find uh, a propositional error here okay so actually uh, see uh, his sister yeah one sister is married is a minister and the other one is married to a minister so we will use married to married to is the appropriate use here so let us move 
without any uh, you know further ado well we have question number 88 that is uh, supposing that the information proves to be totally reliable should we still have to recast the plans yes now find out your answer in this question where the error lies yes again error lies in part number three uh, should we still recast would be the answer here should we still recast recast the plans okay so this will replace this sentence uh, so let us reread the sentence with uh, the correct one supposing that the information proves to be totally reliable should we still recast the plans okay so this would be our correct answer this is the you know uh, we find uh, a wrong you know uh, structure here we should use it in this uh, way this is the pro proper element where the tense is uh, in the supposing that clause is in the you know simple present and the tense is in main clause uh, and the tense in the main clause will be simple future okay so yeah so let us move though its gloss uh, can fool few unwary customers it wouldn't be difficult for the clever ones to judge its real worth so find out where the error lies in this question you can give it a pause and mark your answer yes yeah error lies in part number two she a few will replace few a few but we'll use a few a few means uh, you know um, something uh, is there okay in some quantity in some numbers in a few numbers okay uh, though it's gloss gloss means you know here the surface sign of anything surface sign one second let it let me write it for you right in the bottom which is surface sign yeah so gloss means surface sign okay so though its gloss can uh, fool a few unwary customers a few means uh, a small in number okay a small number of uh, you know less number of uh, customers but few here shows the uh, it is totally a negative word okay almost no customers so we cannot use few, few here we will use a few instead okay so let us move Question number 90. She pretends as if she has never in her life told a lie, isn't it? So find out your answer in this question. Yes, you're right. Error lies in part number one. Instead of has, we will use had here, a past form of it. Because the present of, you know, as if in a sentence shows that uh, uh, it is uh, an unreal situation in the present. Okay so it will be followed by any kind of a past conditional okay past conditional tense so we will use had here to make it past okay that was it for today's lesson guys and thank you so much for watching this video and if you are new to this channel do subscribe watch and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i upload a new video we are actually uploading regularly okay so thank you so much again Bye-bye. See you in our next tutorials.